Okay, I've had a bit of a break off um, construction. I've had to do a bit of um, other work around the place, but anyway, what we've uh, done, what I've done recently is I've made up a, a bit of a better measuring device. And what I've done with this is I've got two 1.25 litre drink bottles. I've cut the first one off this far from the top. So that's that one there. And I've cut the second one off that far from the bottom. So that used to go on there. Okay, so we've inverted this one into this fella. And we've just got some sticky tape around the outside of it. Up in through there, I've got a steel tube that goes from the, underneath the lid there. I've filled that lid up with silicon inside to hold the tube in place. And that just goes up through the bottle. And inside here, I've got a 750ml drink bottle. And I've marked that with uh, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 and so on. So that just sits over the tube like so and when you get gas in the other end of the tube it should do something like this and as you can see it rises up quite happily and if you leave it till it equalizes it'll sink back down itself as well so you're ready for the next test. Now of course that's when the hose isn't pressurised, this end is open. So we're going to have to put some sort of a, a T-piece on here to let the air back out once you finish the test. And then it will settle down, ready for the next one. So that seems to be working a bit better than what I've done before. So we'll use that for now. There should be no pressure on the cell because the bottle is only an empty bottle. So it should be nice and light. So that's one thing I've done. The other thing I've come up with is insulators between my plates. We've got a three litre milk bottle and the plastic in this is reasonably thick. So I've cut these into a grid, marked them into a grid of about 20 mil square and I've put a hole through the centre to match my insulated bolts and then I put those between my plates. To get my insulated bolt I didn't have any plastic bolts and of course the hardware shop shut as it always is when you need something. What I've done is I've got my fish tank air hose. I've cut that a little bit longer than my bolts I'm putting through my plates. So what I do with that then is I've just split the end in four ways. Spread it out like that. I've got my bolt with my large washer on it. And all you do is just screw that in. Now this is about a three mil opening in my hose and there are four mil bolts. So that's a really tight fit. You don't need them that tight but that's just what I had on hand at the time. So if you just keep screwing that in, sometimes you've got to clamp it in the vise between two bits of wood or something just to do that with it. So that'll just screw on like that and that insulates the whole bolt. These spread out the end up against the washer and you split the other end to do the same. This is my new cell I'm working on now and that's what I've done with it. On there you can see the bits of plastic that are spread out under the washer and the same on the other side. So that works really well for an insulated bolt. I've also got my milk bottle insulator on there and I've bent pieces of milk bottle that I've cut out and doubled them over and put them between my plates on the outside. So that's insulated all the outside plates on both sides and up inside here, I want to be able to see, we'll see how we go, but up inside there in the top where they may touch, I've also inserted some in there. So that should insulate that really well. I've got some pieces up through the middle there. So that'll insulate it up there as well. So nothing's touching, I've tested it well with a multimeter. Nothing's shorting out. So we've got our insulated bolts. We've got our milk bottle up through there. And in between every plate, of course, where the bolts go, I've got the milk bottle pieces in there as well. So that's all insulated through there. And it's only the thickness of the milk bottle, which is fairly thin. Now that works well. What else I've done with this cell? is I wanted to be able to test whether the neutral cells work or whether they should be all positive one side or negative the other side. So on this cell here, I've cut with a cutting wheel in the grinder two pieces at two slots there and there. Now that's about seven mil, the width, with the thickness 
of these standard push-on connections you get for electrical wiring. So what that allows me to do then is just push that connection on and then ideally I'll have this one missing on the next one. So I'm staggered those left, right, left, right, left, right, all the way through their separate plates. And then I've cut every second plate out like so. So this one here is say one, three, five, seven, nine, so on. This one here will be two, four, six, eight, ten. So that allows me to have an insulated connection to every plate. And coming at the top, I'll have my leads like so. I'm going to put that onto a switch block, and this one is a 14 plate cell. So I'll have 14 switches, positive and negative coming through every switch. I can switch every cell on, off, so it'll be either positive, negative or off. Then I'll know whether I can have two positives outside, one negative inside, or neutral cells, or whatever configuration I like. So when I do that, I'll do another video, and that should solve any queries that I've got about whether I need neutral cells, whether I should have half positive, half negative, and so on. So that will work really well there. So I've managed to come across a big sheet of stainless steel. Now this sucker here is about two foot across there, uh, two foot six across, and that's eight foot long. So I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. It's um, about 14 gauge or something like that, it's fairly heavy. Anyway, I could have made that cell out of, so I'll be making a lot more cells. And uh, depending on how I go, I might put some on eBay or just for sale or whatever for people that don't want to make their own. And then they can go through an experiment as we've done. Alright, well that's all the update is for now. I'll, uh, hopefully I can put this on the computer tonight. And um, I'll have more to follow. Thanks for watching.